it's the semi-finals in Beijing. We've got Iga, we've got Coco Goff, we've got Rabakina, Samsonova. This is the preview. Let's go through it. And our first semi-final. Look who it is. Yet again, they face each other. Iga Sviantek versus Coco Goff. And Sweet 16. That's right, Coco Goff on a 16-match winning streak. And it says here from TikTok Tennis, Coco Goff's invincibility star continues as she shines as the 18-year-old storms past six-seed Maria Sakkari, 6-2, 6-4 in Beijing. With the win, the 18-year-old American improves to 16 straight match wins, 22-1, and and banking $3.6 million in prize money since Wimbledon. Wow, look at that, some great statistics. And it's brilliant to see Coco Goff just coming into her own now. She's confident and she's on the warpath. And uh, yeah, it says it's echoed saying winning machine. This is from the WTA as she extended her unbeaten run to 16 and she will now face Iga Sviantek for a place in the showpiece final. And Iga, well, she had an incredible matchup against Caroline Garcia. It was, wow, it was one of the best matches I've seen on women's tennis for quite some time. Hard hitting from both players and Iga sort of met her match. We were saying last year how Garcia, she sort of became like an eager, didn't she? She was hitting so hard. She was attacking so many second serves and I was so impressed with her. She fell off a bit, but this was the same Garcia that we saw last year and she really gave Eager a run for her money. Eager was close to losing the match about two points away in that second set, but she showed the heart of a champion, came through, got that one, and then a breadstick in the final set. Impressive stuff from Eager Sviantek. And that's her sixth WTA 1000 of the season. The first time since Halep in 2015 that someone reaches six WTA 1000 level semi-finals in a season well done to eager and more stats for eager as well five being the number and eager will feature in a fifth hardcourt wta 1000 semi-final of 2023 equaling serena williams and simona hallett for the most on this surface in a single season since 2009 gold and one last one about these two coco goff and eager will meet in the semi-finals Two of the most athletic tennis players uh, we've seen in years. Iga leads the head-to-head 7-1. Coco got our first win against Iga in Cincinnati and is on a 16-match winning streak. Who wins? And you can see them there. And this is the head-to-head. You can see it there. It is four wins on hard, three wins on clay for Iga. And the most notable match have to look at the most recent one it was it was at Cincinnati and it was Coco Goff and that was sort of the switch clicked for her and then she went on this storming run where she claimed her first Grand Slam title and she looks a completely different player on the court these days the predictions will be coming up at the end so stay tuned make sure to hit a like and subscribe as well the next semi-final maybe some people didn't see this one coming I think JG called it. He said Samsonova to knock out Ostapenko. I think he went for Sabalenka, but it was a tough one to call. Rabakina in hot form again, it would seem, and had a torrid time. And this one saying that she defeated Sabalenka 7-5-6-2. And that these last few months have not been easy for, for her. Uh, but this is looking more and more like the girl who won Wimbledon. Like the girl who won Indian Wells. Like a healthy, confident Yelena. And uh, her fifth WTA 1000 semi-final of 2023. Lena's back. And it's brilliant to see. And she has won four times over reigning world number ones in 2023. And having done so in four different continents. You've got Australian Open versus Iga. Indian Worlds versus Iga. Rome versus Iga. And then Beijing versus Sabalenka there. You got just a nice picture there of Rabakina. Five, the number also for Rabakina here. She's 5 0 against top 10 opponents in 2023 at the WTA 1000 events. Since 2009, only two players have finished a year undefeated against top 10 players with five plus wins Petkovic in 2011 and Iga 
in 2022. Streak, yeah, she's doing very well and she's looking pretty solid, it has to be said. And it's her 30th win, as you can see here, on hard court for her in 2023. Samsonova is up next. And Samsonova really put a beat down on Yelena Ostapenko, 6-3, 6-2 to reach the semi-finals. 91% of first serves won, 18 winners and just 11 unforced errors. Samsonova is scary when she's in this type of form. Is it going to be enough to defeat Rabakina? I'll tell you at the end. Stay tuned. And this is who she's had to beat on the way there, Samsonova. Park's never an easy one on hard court, especially the fast ones. And uh, Kvitova, very difficult competitor. Beat her in straight sets. Kostyuk, she came back from the depths of despair in the third set and managed to win that in one somehow in that third set. It was incredible. And Samsonova shows her heart and desire on the court quite a lot of the time. That one was no exception. And uh, Ostapenko, we just mentioned. Head to head, this might surprise a few people. Three love in favor of Samsonova. Well, where did they play and when did they last play? They last played, it was in Montreal and it was a 1-6-6-1-6-2 victory for Samsonova. And uh, the one before that was in Tokyo. That was in 2022. Uh, around this, all around this back end of the year and all on hard court and then Montreal again in three sets there's been two three set matches there the only time they've played uh, in Asia it has been a straight sets win for Samsonova so I'm going to predict this one first Samsonova versus Rabakina the head to head is impressive in favour of Samsonova Rabakina she's been really coming back to form though being Sabalenka is serious business and I even think the win against Mir Angeleva was super impressive because she was able to just turn the match around when she wasn't playing well and dug in and that is shows the heart of a champion really Samsonova she's just playing out of her skin I think Samsonova takes the first set and I think Rabakina wins in three let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you agree with me or do you not I want to hear all your thoughts. And let's go over to the other semi-final. Iga Sviantec versus Coco Goff. Iga looking to end the run of Coco Goff here. Can she do it? I think this is going to be Coco Goff to win in three sets. So I'm going for three sets in both of my semi-final predictions. Tell me yours in that comment section below. And if you haven't already, hit a like, subscribe, and join us for more tennis action coming up later.